Recently, I bought this Black Diffusion Mist filter, and what it does is it creates a dreamy effect on your photos. It's something like this, and you put it on the lens of your camera, and then you can make photos and videos with awesome light effects. Let me actually put it on my lens so you can see this better. So what it does is it creates this orange aura around the highlights like you can see here. And I thought maybe we can create this in Photoshop and DaVinci. So I'm going to show you how you can create this effect yourself in Photoshop and DaVinci Studio. So let's get into it. All right, let's go into Photoshop. Here I have this Porsche and let's first duplicate this by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Then press right mouse and convert this to a smart object. And now we want to go to image adjustment and select threshold. And here we can define the highlights of our photo. And let's move this slightly to the right so we can define which areas do we want to highlight. So these highlights will be fine, something in range of this. Then press OK. And the next thing is to go to filter, blur, and apply a Gaussian blur. And here we also need to define a nice area where we see a little bit of blur, but also a little bit of the details. So something like this will be fine. And now we only have to change the blend mode from normal to screen. And you can already see this effect. Now usually this effect is a bit kind of reddish, so let's do that also. When we go down here, we can apply a solid color. And here I want to select something in the range of red. This will be fine. Press OK and click right mouse and create a clipping mask. And change the blend mode to overlay. And now you can see we get this reddish effect. So that's how easy it actually is. And let's now do a video. So for a video, we're going to go into DaVinci Resolve. And I'm going to import this video here, this beautiful sunset here. And the only thing I have to do is I have to go to the color page. And in the effects panel of the color page, I will search for halation and I will drag this onto my node. And let's go to the settings here. You can see here secondary glow. I'm going to increase the strength here. Let's say around 250 and also the spread. Let's look at the before and after. Before we had this and now we have this. We created this beautiful glow around our highlights. If you want to learn more about creating awesome live things in Photoshop, make sure to check out this video. Until then, catch you on the next one.